this story really um it's some powerful stuff um there has been recent studies and this has been done um in the unit it's been done in boston and some you know boston hospitals are amazing folks boston strong all day long um bone marrow transplant has removed all signs of hiv aids in two individuals um now both these individuals were long time and they were long time sufferers of the hiv aids virus um one receipt one got the virus the sexually transmitted via the in the early epidemic in the early stages of the academic 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 excuse me um epidemic rather um the second individual got it um at birth and both of these individuals um have been suffering from leukemia which is the cancer of the blood um and they decide so both of them got bone marrow transplants um and after receiving the bone marrow transplants um what they what the doctors started to realize they saw a steady downtick in the amount of the in you know the hiv cells in the body to the point where now these individuals are off their retro antiretroviral drugs and beyond being off their antiretroviral dr viral drugs um you know they've all they feel as though that the disease might have been cured now we, there's no telling it can be cured because everybody knows hiv aids can remain dormant in somebody for six for a year for six or seven months before it actually becomes active so there is a possibility that these individuals can still have the HIV virus, but with, with either, with, with that being said or not, there is a possibility that you know bone marrow transplant might be a cure to HIV. So we're getting closer, folks. We're getting closer um, to a true and real cure for HIV AIDS. Um, and I, I and I and I want to take a personal note to say, HIV AIDS is not. Any, lo any longer the death sentence that it used to be. People are, who, people are being diagnosed with the disease and are living full, long, long lives. Now, don't get me wrong. It doesn't mean that we don't need to be, protect ourselves, and we do need to protect ourselves. Whether you're um, a heterosexual man or a homosexual man or a homosexual woman, um, you need to protect yourself. And beyond protecting yourself, get tested. Now, you got to get yourself tested twice a year, folks. Twice a year. One time in the fall, one time in the spring. Get yourself tested or you get yourself in the winter and in the summer. When it gets cold, get tested. When it gets hot, get tested. It's very, very important to get tested and preserve yourself um, and stop the spread of the HIV, AIDS, virus, and disease and wrap it up. But this is, I think, very, very groundbreaking news that we are trying, we're on the way to find a cure. Now, like I said, burn a a bone marrow transplant isn't the best cure in the world. There's a 15 to 20 percent mortality rate with these type of transplants, so it comes with its risk. But um, we're trying to find a cure, folks, and it will look like we're getting closer. And so that's a good thing.